In today's video, we are going to take a look at a homemade mineral lick. Uh, in the last couple of years, I've been using a commercial product that has really worked well. It's called Deer 30. But this year, I wanted to see is there a difference if I make my own mineral lick and just compare. So stay tuned. Let's take a look. Hey, so another thing I've done is make some um, mineral sites. And everybody does this, so it's nothing spectacular. But what I did different, in the past I've used a product that I've really liked a lot called Deer 30. But this year I decided to try doing my own. So again, I went online referencing YouTube, some, some people that I think know what they're talking about. And so I've made a mixture, let me show it here. So this is, this is my mineral site here. This is a mixture of two parts trace mineral salt, one part mixing salt, one part dried molasses, and one part uh, uh, dicalcium phosphate. So you mix that together in, in those ratios and, and put it out. So. I went down to the co-op and bought, well, between the co-op and Rural King, bought all these pieces, these ingredients, mixed it together, and for probably a fourth, maybe a fifth of the price, I got I got a, a mixture here. We're going to see how the deer are liking it. I'm going to put a camera on it. We'll check back, reference that, and see how the deer are liking it. There is one micronutrient I'm aware of that my mixture does not have that the other Deer 30 does have, and that is selenium. And I'm not exactly sure how important selenium is and how deficient they would be in it from the natural browse, but my mixture does not have one product in it that, uh, that, the, that the other does. But nonetheless, to be honest with you, I don't think these mineral sites are going to make a noticeable difference in the size of the antlers of these deer at all. This is just good for their general health. It helps the does with lactating. It'll help to some degree, I guess it provides nutrients for the for the deer, for their antlers, but th this stuff is not gonna make a noticeable difference. I'm just doing it just because it's fun to see the deer and um, watch them you know, enjoy it. I guess, so I guess in the end, this is really just all about me enjoying seeing the deer. But we're gonna hang a camera up. I've got three of them. We're gonna hang a camera up on this one. Well, I got, actually I got cameras on all three of them. So we'll uh, be interesting to see if they come to this as well as they did the Deer 30. So we'll see soon. Okay, I'm, sta I'm standing here next to our first self-made, self-mixed uh, um, mineral lick. And as you can see, the, the deer have eaten all the mineral off of it. Um, got a camera on this tree right about here. Anyway, so we're gonna pull the camera. We'll see what kind of pictures we have, but the, uh, obviously the deer have been, have eaten it pretty good. There's none of the mineral left. I am about to, um, about to go ahead and add some new mineral. So let's, let's go ahead and do that right now. Again, this is, this is my self-mixed, uh, mineral let's see if i can set this over here where we can do a better job of seeing this So I just have these canisters. This is the uh, this is the mix that I that I made up. And that is about eight pounds per site. So this is site number one. Let's pull our card and we'll, uh, I'll show you up here in just a minute what kind of pictures we got on the trail cam.
Okay, this is mineral site number two. Let's see how it looks. Oh yeah, they've eaten all the mineral out of it and you can tell the dirt is pretty fresh. They're still eating on it. So it's uh, in the picture, you don't get much of a sense that it's a depression in the ground. I don't know if I moved the camera down a little lower. I don't know if you can tell, but um, they're, they're eating it pretty good. So I've got, a, got my camera on the tree right there. So we'll pull the card and see what kind of, see how much they're hitting it, how many different deer. And, but uh, very, very good. I'm really, so far, this is the second mineral lick and I'm very excited with how well the deer are using it, even though it's a homemade mix. So I'm gonna put out uh, eight more pounds here and we'll set the cameras back up on it. Maybe get some video. Mineral lick number three. Well, let's see how it looks. All right, it's looking good. I see a little bit of uh, mineral left in it. And it rained last night a little bit, so I don't see a lot of fresh scratching or eating. I don't know if they've been in it much, if at all, overnight or today. But um, we're going to go ahead and load it back up with eight more pounds and got my camera over here so we'll pull the card and we'll see what we have on that one well guys unfortunately for some reason I cannot get the pictures from the Tasco trail camera to download into my Final Cut Pro so I'm sorry I don't have the pictures from this third camera but there's just a, a the same thing a whole bunch of deer are eating the minerals every bit as good as the commercial minerals I had down before so apologize for that but the point I think is still made the ingredients for the mineral site is two parts trace mineral salt. So two parts. This one is Champion's Choice. I happened to get it at Rural King. Also available, I think, at Tractor Supply and probably many other places. Two parts trace mineral. This bag's upside down, but uh, mix and find salt. So that's a mixing salt. One part mixing salt. Then we have diphos uh, dicalcium phosphate. So I had to get this at a co-op farm store, but one part dicalcium phosphate. And lastly, one part dried molasses. So that's it. So I, uh, I mixed them up in this little container over here to get the right mix. And then I just divide it up into whatever I have to be able to bring it out to the woods and put it down. So that's it, that's the uh, that's a homemade mineral lick got from some guys off of YouTube. So in the end, it looks like this homemade mineral lick did every bit as good as the commercial bought brand. Uh, it's a fraction of the cost. The only issue is it, it does take a little bit of searching to find the ingredients. Um, like I said, the two, the, the mineral salt and the trace minerals were easily found at um, Tractor Supply or Rural King, but the other two ingredients, the dicalcium phosphate and the dried molasses, both of those were something I had to kind of hunt around a bit and I found them at a co-op. So if you have the time, don't mind doing a little search and running around to find the ingredients. It's easy to make this stuff. It's very easy, as you can see, and it works really well. So hope this has been helpful to you. God bless you. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.